Whatever this is, it's going absolutely nuts. Woo! Oh my god. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Let's do it. Got the Woomera, got the hand spear. We're heading deep into those mangroves to try and find some crabs. Oh, we're on! Get it, get it, get it. Oh, look at that guy. I'm seriously excited for this one. I'm gonna show you the three different ecosystems of the Great Barrier Reef right out on the outer reef. All right, we're gonna come back inshore to the fringing reefs and tropical islands, and then go deep in the mangroves all in one day. All right, it's gonna be a hell of a day. It's taken a lot of time to get where we are. I'm with my brother, Jack, and his Mrs. Eva, better known as Miss Mud Crab. And my name's Aaron, or Az, and this is an episode of Getting Back to Basics. Let's do it. Uh, we've been sounding around for a couple of hours this morning. We've just found somewhere that comes out of 23 meters up to 18. And that there looks like a whole lot of bait. We cast netted a few live herring that are not so live anymore, but still very fresh, only about an hour old. Hardy head, they're gonna be live bait. Two actually, Jack, two. I finally got something to take the bait. It's not quite what we want, but that's what's been baiting us beforehand. I had no herring on that drop. It's a beautiful little red emperor. If we move really go straight back in the water. There you go, mate. Hey, woo! He's away. We're just sounded around on some new ground and what we like to do, because we only travel at four or five knots, throw out a couple of lures and find where the bait is. Hopefully pick up a Mackie on the way. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's what we're after. Yes! <laughs> what a fish. Like about 200 meters in front of the boat, there's a big bust up, probably two or 300 birds. Oh, there's so many fish. Whatever this is, it's going absolutely nuts. Oh, it's exactly what I wanted. I haven't caught one in years, but this is a yellowfin tuna. Right oh, nice. oh, oh, oh. Oh. Mate, what an absolute nugget of a fish. One of the most sought after fish out here in the deep water. Just trolled up, we're in about 50 meters of water. Trolling a hard body lure at about five knots. We got rewarded, have a go at that. Yellowfin tuna. I actually just saw a nice trout down there. We sounded up a couple of rocks that go from 23 meters and then come up to 15 meters and you can see where the current's hitting the pressure edge is just stacked with bait it's about 20 meters viz we can see the bait and the coral life from the boat on the bottom I'm gonna grab the guns jump in and check it out oh i'm excited let's do it see you in there mate Woo. we traveled out here not only to explore more of the great barrier reef but simply to hunt fish for food. Our main source of protein comes from seafood and we not only needed a feed for camp, but also to keep on ice for meals back home. I just land on the bottom at about eight meters of water, grunting and scratching a little bit of rock. I was just about to come up to the top when I seen this curious one come out from under a plate. Have a go at the colors in that coronation trout. coral trout. I dove down on the high point we found and he was sort of coming out and around a cave and he was sort of just about to go into one and I, I got a little head shot. What's for lunch today Captain? Some more nuts. We shot a nice trout so it'd be rude not to. It's coronation trout would have to be one of my favorite to hunt. They're absolutely exquisite like the electric pinks through the side of the cheek and all the way down back to the tail. And this one's lunch. We're gonna do a numbers mix. Generally out in the boat we carry ourselves uh, some lemons, some limes, garlic, chili, a little bit of soy sauce and just a mixed bag of numbers mix. Squeeze all that into a little bit of a container. Man, 
there it is in all its glory. The Namus mix. We'll give it 20, 30 minutes. That'll be lunch. Man, it looks so clean. Look, look at that bomb. Oh, see what's down there. one of the worst shots I've ever taken, but you can't swim without a tail. The big eyed sea brim or a moo. Jack and Eva, the crew, jumped out for a bit of lunch. What's the verdict? Yum. Mm. I think the kaffir lime in there is a good touch. Mm. Well, that's a... So, what we have a number four? So lemon, lime, mm. chili, kaffir lime. We left that for just over 30 minutes. Mm. So fresh. Mm. Yeah. This would be a good raw diet treat. <laughs> raw diet. We're just eating this because it's all we have. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's bloody tasty. Mm. All right, mate. Come up into the shallows looking for a few crays on low tide. There's a nice mangrove jack sitting under the white coral ledge, deep in this ledge. That's dinner. Thanks, mate. Come up right up into the shallows on low tide, looking for a couple of the ocean's tastiest. And there you go, nice cray. That's it, brother. Yeah, yeah mate. Oh. Just come back, we've filleted the jack up, threw it in a little bit of flour, salt and pepper, straight on the gas burner with the cast iron pot. That's what we're dealing with. Eva, honest verdict? Delicious. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Well earned feast. Mm. That's awesome. It's been a massive day thus far. We've just come back to camp and regrouped by cooking up a bit of fish for a very, very... Oh, bust up. Bust up, there's so much bait. There's so much fish like here. We grabbed the spears, we're jumping back in the rifle bird. We're going to head over to a low set mangrove island where, fingers crossed, we can try and find some mud crabs. Let's see how we go. It's so clean. It's going to come up shallow really quick. 
All right, got the Woomera, got the hand spear. We're heading deep into those mangroves to try and find some crabs. There's a few stingrays in the shallows. They can't see me yet. Hey, mate. Hey, come on. So we've split up about 10, 15 meters apart, all walking through these mangroves, and we're keeping an eye out for mud crab holes, little shallow pools of water that crabs might be sitting in, and also big pieces of structure. So you can see around me, there's a lot of mangrove trees. At the base of them, on the surface, you can sometimes have a good shot at finding a mud crab, but nothing as of yet. If you do this yourself, things you need to watch out for. Saltwater crocodiles, it's a prime environment for them. Even though there's no water in here, I've got to look through all this. Now I haven't seen anything yet. I've seen a couple of cod cruise through the shallows of these pools. But no crabs. So I've come through the thick of that mangroves there, up to where this pool is, and just under this big set of mangroves, out of the water, out of the mud, and in the mangroves, probably an inch or two off the ground. There's a crab. That's pretty deep, pretty deep in the mangroves. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're working with. When you're looking for the crabs, don't half-ass it. You've got to get your head right in the base of those mangroves and then keep your eye out like the shine of the shell. It'll differ. Blend in to an extent, but differ to these roots. So you can't just walk past. Now to get him out. Not sure yet. Okay, there you go. We just come around the other side of this big girl and found out that she's in fact a big girl. Where we are, it's illegal to keep female crabs, so she lives to make babies another day. It's one of the biggest females I've ever seen. Well, I have got the nippers on it. It's the next generation of mud crab. It's been close to 10 minutes. I've searched a lot of structure. We just found another big one. It's 100% a keeper. They've locked themselves into the mangrove roots. I can tell that that one there is a male for sure by its massive blue purple nippers. So you confident grabbing it? Yeah, mate. Well, thanks for firing it up. Get out, mate, you're coming home for dinner. Can't really push it much more. It's a monster, eh? That's a, <laughs> that's a big crab. You got it, girl. You get it? I won't be able to pull it out of. Right. Oh, we're on. Get it, get it, get it. Yes! Well done, Good Eva. work, everyone. That was a team effort. That is a massive mud crab. Put it on its side. I don't want to see those nippers. <laughs> wow. All right, we're out of the thick of it. Just got the one crab. We need to get back to the boat to make sure it doesn't end up high and dry. We're not stuck here for the night. Got to get back to camp, make some chili, cray, and mud crab. That's the game plan. <laughs> we almost didn't make it out of here with a dropping tide. And that looks really... Oh, a big green turtle. You'd probably get a crayon, that. Yeah, you would probably get a crayon, that. I bet no one's stupid enough to dive it. That's because it's 200 meters away from where the crocs live. We just come back to camp. We gathered up a bit of wood. We're getting a coal base going here, well below the high tide mark on this sand spit. And we're gonna prep up. This is our last night out here and we've got enough ingredients for a chili, cray, crab. That's what we're gonna do. We're using paprika oil, um, cooking wine, tomato, fish sauce, lemongrass, ginger, garlic and onion, salt, pepper. We're gonna put this brew together and get it going. So for reference, that's how you kill a crab. It's also how you kill most humane way a cray. Middle of the carapace, underneath, one quick stiff hit with a knife. You can see where we would have done it in there as well to put it straight to sleep. Today couldn't have been any better. We literally got to the shelf, caught a yellow fin, got a cray, got a mud crab, and we're sitting on the beach for sunset, having a fire, and about to cook a pretty incredible meal. Honestly, best birthday ever. Best birthday ever. Cheers. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're just going to take the meat out of the cray tail. And then we're going to process up the mud crab, crack it into a lot of different parts, crack all the nippers open. So flavours of the stir fry and the brew that we're making up can soak right into all of that. Also, if you want to get yourselves a set of the best knives ever made, handmade here in Australia, check out our website. A little tip with the cray meat, it's going to be really difficult to get out if you haven't froze it or had it in an esky with ice. Chop it in pretty small pieces. So the smaller that you chop up that meat, the more tender it's going to be. I'm just trying to get all the mud off the muddy itself because all of this is going to go in the pot we're going to do. So I'm going to put my hand up the back there and then just remove the top of the shell from the bottom. Just like that. And just wash it out with salt water. Take the gills off. 
and I just want to see I won't be keeping that that's what we're going to crack up and throw into the pot We're just about to cop the best sunset of the year. I'm gonna crack this crab up, throw the cray in, and that's a day well spent. Oh, I saw G. <laughs> Note to future self, bring a bigger pot. <laughs> or catch smaller crabs. And it still needs room for a bit of cray. The mud crab takes a little bit longer to cook, so we're gonna throw the lid on, and then the cray, you cook really, really quick. We're gonna throw that in at the end. It was honestly one of the most special and memorable days that I've had on the Great Barrier Reef in a really long time. To be able to be out there with my brother and his Mrs. Eva for her birthday, mind you, which I haven't mentioned, and get to the outer shelf, right to the outer reef, and get a yellowfin tuna, and then come in closer and get a coronation trout, coral trout, a crayfish, and then come right up against the coast to a low-lying mangrove island and get a ginormous mud crab like that for dinner. I'll tell you what, it makes you feel alive. There's not too many spots left, but that's, that's gonna have to do. The mud crab was actually too big. No, you just gotta sing, all right? I'm gonna create the beat yeah. and you yeah. sing the lyrics, all right? Something yeah. to do with today. Today was the best day ever. We got crabs, we got yellowfin tuna, yeah! Yeah, Woo! that was a sick one. Oh my God, oh. that's full ass. That's a lollipop. Put some juice on it, put some juice on it. Yeah, juice on it. Get the oh, there's too much crab to get juice. Too much cray. Is that lobster? That's cray. Oh my gosh. All right, so we got the cray, got the mud crab, yeah. got the juice, <laughs> and that's dinner. Oh my god. That's out of control. Oh. Taste factor 1000. Oh, look at that guy. It's just beautiful.